Well, and then in 98, mm -hmm. you were in Woo with uh, Jada Pinkett. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Uh, no, I ain't smack her. Good God. Uh, I Dave, mean, Lord. This boy got me hitting everybody. <laughs> Dave Chappelle is also in it. Right, right, right. Uh, LL Cool J, Dwayne uh -huh. Martin, Paul, uh, uh -huh. Jay Parker, who I've interviewed. Uh -huh. um, and I guess there was a, a part mm -hmm. while filming the movie mm -hmm. when you went to go kiss Jada. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And at the time, Will Smith was engaged to her. Uh -huh. And it turned into an issue. Mm -hmm. Tell me what happened. Mm -hmm. Um, I really didn't know what happened for years. Uh, but this just goes to show you how together and cool Jada and Will are, you know, and how down to earth and how transparent they are and how real they are. I didn't know what happened that day. You know, all I know is that I came in the trailer and Will was like, what's up with that, man? You know, saying, Will big, man. You know, Will was yeah, like, he is hey, big hey, and muscular. Hey, Will big. He's like, we right. need to talk about that. You know, this, that, and the other thing. So I didn't know what he was talking about. So he was like, you know, hey, you know, we need to talk about that, like, like that, like, like. So I said, okay, let's go outside and talk about it, you know? And Jada was like, nah, y'all don't go into all that. And I was like, you want to talk so bad, you know? Because I was confused. Uh -huh. You know, once again, I'll say this again. Um, I hope it ain't becoming redundant, but, you know, I was at a, a, a amusement park with my brother when I was probably about 10. And these big black dudes came over and said, hey man, won't you give me some of your tickets for the rides, you know? And he, my brother's a sweet dude, he gave it to him. Then they came back again, you know, and, and, and he gave it to him. Then finally, they just took the whole road from him, bust him in his face, was stomping him and everything like that, you know? And I had to witness that, you know? So if somebody's gonna, and, and if somebody's gonna come to me, it doesn't matter who it is. They can say, hey, with that look, I remember that look. So I'm like, hey, you know, now I don't gotta know what's happening with him. Uh -huh. It has nothing to do with him. It has to do with me and the stuff I've seen and the stuff I've been through. And and I'm glad something like that didn't happen. You know, I, I joke about kicking uh, Spike and all. I'm glad that stuff didn't happen. Yeah. Cause I, when I watch stuff like that happen, nothing ever good came out of it, you know? even when I came out on top or whatever. So the, 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 the best part of this is I didn't know what happened. So nothing really went down. It almost went down. But, but it was about you kissing. No, but here's, Jada. that's what's key. Yeah. That's what's key. I didn't really know that. It took 15 years, 18 years to understand what happened. Ah. What happened was this. Me and Jada were supposed to kiss in the scene, but we never rehearsed it. So the producers were like, hey, man, this is the last scene. We got to get it done. We got to get a wrap up. We ain't got time to rehearse. You just go out there and kiss that girl. I'm like, I ain't going on to kiss her, man. That's not how you do it in acting. You don't just go kiss nobody. You practice it and you make it look real. That ain't my girl. You know, and so they said, all right, man, we're going to ask her what's up. So they came back in my trailer. And they said, she said, just go for it. I was like, you sure? It was like, yeah. I was like, all right. You know, end of the day, movie, whatever, you know. And I never knew. She felt a little uncomfortable during that time. The only way that I knew what happened, because I had years to think about that. Why did Will come at me like that? Will is a great guy. I've been to his house with the kids and everything. We've been friends. I've known him before in Living Color. Mm. I knew Will in 85 when me and him were in a studio. Recording, I was recording a go-go record for DC and he was recording a hip-hop record for Philly. And we met playing basketball that day in 85. Wow. So I'm like, why is this dude coming at me like that? I have 15 years to think about that, man. And that's the only thing I can come up with and I didn't even know if that was right. Don't you know, I'm writing the book and my author's like, my co-author's like, you know you can't say that unless it's really true, you know? And I was like, yeah, but it really happened. You know, he said, yeah, but is that what really happened, though? And the only way I could really, really find out was I had to write them. I had to email them the paragraph mm -hmm. and then write them a letter and say, hey, I'd like to put this in my book. Is this what happened? It took that long, right? And um, I was like, let me see, let me see, let me see what's going to happen here. And sure enough, my Arthur called me and said they approved it. Mm. 
They said it really happened. There you go. It took that long. 50. You know, that's book worthy. There you go. You know what I mean? There you go. Yeah, it is.